Hey, hey, welcome in everyone. It is me, Dashboard Devil, and uh, we're going to start off. Uh, well, we're going to start off by checking out this space station here. It's uh, in a system that I ran across. Let's see how long ago. Three years ago, I ran across this. On a whim, I decided to stop by and see what the station looks like. And I got to say, it is pretty sweet. How's everybody doing today? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I agree, Culinary Zest. The, the new stations are very nice. Just check out these uh, multi-tool cabinets. And once again, a C. All right. Let's just take a look around here. This is really cool. I mean, that that sort of teal color and that gold, just really nice. This is yet again a system in the no man's high space, uh, claimed space. And uh, I called this system bag of shake because it was just all of this it was just a complete mixed bag of uh, planets there wasn't anything super great there were some all right planets but uh, you know nothing spectacular so I just called it bag of shake and it has that uh, you know has that kind of laid back weed vibe. So uh, the name seems to fit. And I'm all right with that. So I'll just show you like right here. This is the blue dream machine. And uh, right now I am on my original PC save. This is my first PC save um, that I started right after Origins. I had pre previously been on uh, PlayStation and knew that it was uh, that that Origins was going to change everything and it seemed like a perfect time to jump off and head to PC uh, for nothing else that I didn't want to have to pay the monthly just to get online with everyone. And PC, you're just online with everyone. And you don't have to pay the upcharge like uh, PlayStation and Xbox, which I thought was great. So uh, this is one of the ships I found. And I freaking love this one. It has the uh, maneuverability, the core maneuverability is uh, sitting at 438.8, which is pretty darn high um, without the bonus. Uh, so... I still, this is the one of only two barrel nose that I have. Uh, the other one I'm thinking about replacing, but this one, I just love the vibe way too much to give it up. So that one's probably going to stay. However, I do have a couple of other ships that I'm thinking about replacing. This one right here. This was not uh, not my original find. Hey, Shogunai, 
Welcome in. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, this this was something I found on the Glyphics, not the Glyph Exchange, the original um, coordinate exchange. And I really loved it. And I've had, I've clocked so many, so many light years on this. But I am thinking about replacing it with a custom. So that's one of the things that I want to do today. And uh, and you can see I've named it Murder Hornet. And uh, it could stand to have a little bit better damage potential. I need to rearrange some things. Certainly wouldn't hurt if I overtook uh, one or more of the other supercharge slots to really beef things up. But for an explorer, not too bad at 350. Oh, I'm seeing this ship over here. I want to. Oh wait, let's see. Let's see. What what do I have for Vesper wings? Certainly wouldn't hurt to have another one. Just just for the heck of it. All right, buy that right up. Oh, the little boxes. Let's see, the little boxes. You mean... This one, the little... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's the little box with the with the little dragon fly wings. Is that what you're talking about, Shogunai? Yeah, yeah. I just ran across those wings yesterday and I was like, oh, that's such a rarity. I had to go and grab them. All right. All right. What do we have here? Oh, dang it. Those would have been nice wings to have. But let's see. Do I have those wings? No, not on this save. Okay, not on this save. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Nope, that's no good. I don't like the top fin. Don't like the top fin. Don't like that top fin. All right. Let's uh, hop in here. Cre create a save point. I want to boot these out. Let's get a new wave in. But yeah, those little, uh, the little box with the with the dragonfly wings. That's really cool. All right. Take a look and see what all I have in here again. Got the dragonfly hull. These are always fun. The solar wings. And then the arc foil wing. Got the glider wing. Got those prismatic wings. Oh, I also have the wing cap. All right, let's see. Okay, I've also got the droid wings with the 
at the tie side. What do we have over here? Okay, nothing coming in. So another ship that I'm thinking about uh, replacing is this one right here. Let's take a look real quick. Don't want to miss anything. All right, this ship was the first ship that I tracked down on the coordinate from the coordinate exchange. And talk about light years traveled. Oh man, this was my every day for a long, long time. And at the same time, I always wished that it had more red and less chrome. So since it was a ship off of the Corden Exchange, I'm once again thinking that this one might get replaced. But the key is with either ships that I've talked either ship that I've talked about. Uh, let's see if I have the actual parts yet. And let's sunspot wing. That is not the right wing. That is not the correct wing that we're looking for today. But let's see if we have the dragster. Okay, we we do have the hot rod cockpit, uh, but we don't have we don't have the correct wing so we might do a little bit more searching my the other thing i didn't the other thing i wanted to, to change about this one is the single engine i really prefer the box engine not a big fan of the triple. Love the box, and then the single comes in a, you know, a close second to the box. But there's not a lot of that one that I have. I also prefer the stats, the maneuverability stats of the uh, box thruster over the other two. All right, we are not getting a whole lot of what we're looking for. So we might take the opportunity to head to another system. Let's just wait for the rest of this wave. Let's see how many ships is that? Hmm. All right. The name on this one was kind of fun, though. The Birth of Destiny. That's the procedurally generated name. And that, that was kind of fun. Flip this over into third person. And then let's uh, let's take a look at systems i'm trying to stick to systems that i've already been to that i'm established in that ha where i have bases and whatnot um just to keep things a little bit more organized in my uh, discoveries um, i like to keep track of what uh uh, of, of what I've got where and what I've already interacted with. Make is this make a deal. <laughs> the middle box for the win. All right, we're going to head over to this one with a funky name, Trexit No Flu.
and let's uh, let's see what we got here. <laughs> I didn't offer to buy the box back from you. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this space station. Already I'm loving it. Look at all that red. That's pretty awesome. With those, uh, it looks like the, um, what do you call it, archive top? It's very similar, not exactly, but it's it's you know similar. It also looks like if uh, Darth Vader's head was like really elongated and kind of squished a little. I don't know, kind of kind of Star Wars vibes. get a little shot of that one because I'm also documenting a lot of these space stations that I encounter just so I can uh, if I want a, a picture of one of them for one of the streams or uh, <laughs> Or if I just, uh, you know, want to show them off uh, in in Discord or whatnot. All right, we get a little shot of uh, the entrance. Yeah, it is a really cool look. That was nice, and it was a little bit more orangey than red, sort of a tomatoey red, if you will. Oh, this is nice and bright. Some of them are very dark, and I miss the spotlights that came down on top of the ships to, so it was easier to get a good picture. In Vegas, baby, you know it. That would be uh, that'd be fun to build a casino, casino space station. Welcome to Quarks. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. It's got cool colors and it's uh, nice and bright. I love it. I love it. All right, let's take a look. Oh, so this right here, I'm kind of annoyed at Sean. Look at these. We, we've got this base part right here, this little canister. And, you know, in the, in the build menu, you know, you can flip them around to put in those positions. However, they won't sit that close because of the hitbox is too big. So they just... They just won't sit there. And that I found kind of annoying. <laughs> Space cat carrier. Yeah, <laughs> culinary zest. But yeah, the, the hit boxes, like I like Sean's teasing us with stacking them in a cool way like this, but we can't do it because hit boxes. So freaking annoying. Not cool, Sean. Right, right. Yeah, like I would probably have to, might be able to glitch them in place. It would be a big pain in the ass, but I I might could try to figure that out. Enra in, in could probably look at this already and know exactly how he would do it. Uh, I don't know. All right, what do we have here? Okay, A class. 
looking for the elusive S class in all of the space stations that I have gone to. Some new, but most old. Not one of them has had an S class cabinet. And I tell you, I have I've gone through at least I kid you not, at least 60 space stations at this point. <laughs> Light boxes indeed. There was one, there's one part. So this, this right here, this little chart, we have a table with that shape above it, but with that on it. And in all the space stations, these are different colors. And I'm kind of annoyed that the one that we get to build with does not have the ability to change the colors. Just trying to climb on that little ledge, but it won't let me. <laughs> okay. And why don't we get that sign? I want that sign right there. And those little hoppers, that would be sweet. There's the table right there. Eh, you know. Oh, man, talk about awesome. That right there, sized up. And glitched in a circle. That would be amazing in a kaleidoscope. We've got one globe. Let's have that globe, too. All right, let's get back to looking at these ships. I did uh, forget to check for the faction when I warped here. And we are looking at a GEC system. So it has been mostly haulers. So we might go ahead and take off again and look for a Viking or even a Corvex. Oh wait, I forgot to do something. When I take my series of pictures, I, uh, I like to also get that so I know what the name of the system is. All right, let's uh, skedaddle on to the next system all right now we're gonna look for okay that's another geck trying to stick with well that could work we do need to find yeah we do need to find uh, some of the corvax parts I have been playing around with the new parts lately and uh, I've made a couple of little glitch stacks that are nice. I posted uh, a couple of short videos in Enra's glitch stack channel and a couple in my own uh, video channel in my Discord. Uh, links for my Discord and the No Man's High Discord are in the description if you would like to join either one. And check this one out. Wow. Just stunning. Get a shot of this without the glyphs. Oh, wait. Let's, uh, see if we can get, all right, can't resist, uh, opportunity for, for picks when they present themselves, and that's pretty cool. And like, look at this little section right here. 
how that's lit up right there. That is so freaking cool. I love those little details that the gang at Hello Games throws in there. And if you're not paying attention, you can miss them. That is so freaking cool. Oh, very nice. The the antenna around the center sometimes on some of these kind of cracks me up because it just seems like a major ship hazard. <laughs> it is uh, kind of silly, I think. Kind of silly. All right, let's uh, get some glyphs in here. Twist it so you can see them a little bit better. Snap that shot. And let's uh, check it out. Nice. Nicely lit. I love the blue kind of fogginess. Cruise right on in. Oh, uh, look, it's all gray and black. That blue light. Okay, this, this vibes pretty nicely. But does it have what we're looking for? We will have to uh, wait and see. In the meantime, let's get a couple of snapshots and check out those multi-tool cabinets. Oh, nice. Fairly common as far as experimental uh, pistols go. B class. Oh, here we go again. Another. Oh, we got the A class. All right. Not too shabby. Go ahead and snap a shot of that because why not? Put it in the collection. Who knows? Someone might be interested in that if they see them later. Oh, and look at that first ship in, and we have the part that we need. So very nice. All right. Got plenty of cash, so I'm not worried about anything I've already spent. Across the different saves, I've probably spent, uh, I don't know, 2 billion units gathering parts. What else do we have while we're running around? Finally, we have something to spend all of the money that we've been making. <laughs> Just buying all these ships up. All right, let's salvage this. Right, we've got, uh, got to grab the barrel off of here. Let's see if we can find another one. And let's see, we're going to go ahead and do a restore. Let's see what we can get up to. You. Okay. So let's see if we can get another one of those ships, and then we'll have the parts to remake the Murder Hornet. And uh, that would be a, a nice first one to, to complete. In the meantime, oops, 
did not mean to get in there. What I meant to do was take a look. No worries, Christy. Thanks for joining. No problem at all. That's, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Here I was. Okay, we got a hauler coming in. Looks like a shuttle, maybe. Yep. Okay. So one ship I will not be getting rid of. And that is Meatwad. I am not getting rid of Meatwad at all. Love this ship. It is a beast. Absolutely love it. All right. Let's see. What are some of my other ships that I can show? Oh, here. This one, I, I love this one. I called it Devil's Irrational Gambit. Just a bunch of random words that I threw together. This was another natural fi find that I found in the wild. I will not be giving this one up. This is just too cool. And one of only maybe two ships that I have that have the, the top fin where it actually looks balanced. Meet Wad, make the money, see? <laughs> uh, let's see. Got a box hauler. By and large, don't really care for haulers. I do have a couple on my original PlayStation save. And I do want to get a couple more to finish out a collection that I'm working on which I might go for with the uh, uh, on my PlayStation save. So I might, I might flip over and do that at some point. Hey, Professor Cynical, thank you for dropping in. Welcome, welcome. We are running around space stations, uh, getting some parts, and we're going to remake a couple of my ships that I have. Um, waiting for an explorer to come in that has the right parts, but it is uh, not coming back in. Just need one more wing off it, and we'll be ready to go. But uh, otherwise, I am showing off some of my other ships. This one was a, uh, a custom order. And uh, this one I had made for me, and I named it Blue. And if you know, you know. And uh, this is one of only two Vipers that I've got. And I, I really like the balance of this, the color, everything. Very, very cool. All right. Did we get our Explorer in? No, we did not. Oh, but here it comes. Just in time. Just in time. Here it comes. And then we'll be able to remake the Murder Hornet. Oof, that is... Certainly some decisions were made on that ship. <laughs> not not a not a configuration or color that I would prefer. But that's all right. All we want, all we want is the parts. And uh, I've got plenty, plenty of units that I've amassed over. Okay, now I can't get out of here. <laughs> Got plenty of units that I've amassed over years and on all the different saves. Uh, so buying all of these is no problem. All right, let's 
get that barrel off of there. All right, and now we can build our first ship here. But I want to check out, I don't remember how many ships I have on this save. So we're going to do a quick count real quick. Quick count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, okay. Plenty of room. Right. I did get rid of several ships so that I could do this very thing. All right. Let's go and let's go ahead and let's get the murder hornet out here so we can see it again. And the game has decided to put it over here. But there we have the murder hornet. So I don't have that cockpit, but that's okay. The grasshopper cockpit I like a little bit better. That one is nice, but I think I like the dragonfly better for the most part. Except for in the like the small airplanes. That's always nice. All right, Cressy. Okay, here we are. Got an S-Class reactor core. Let's get... Just for kicks, I want to take a look and see what the sunspot wing looks like on it. Just why not? We've got it. And I am always down for metallic. That is, oh, oh man, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's take a look and see what the dark red looks like here. See what the dark gray looks like. Oh, no. Keep getting those flipped in my head. Okay, let's let's see what... I don't know, that, that red does look pretty sharp. I might do one of these on a different save file. It's all blue to go with those solar solar pods. All right, so uh, let's skip over that. Get rid of these sunspot wings. And uh, I've got the barrel with the little the pulsar. Let's see. Wait a sec. Oh, no way that. Wait a second. Is that not quite the right part? Let's see here. Oh, it doesn't have the little spike things on the end of it. Uh, no, I was uh, hoping for the sp the little spike wings on the back. Is that right? I want to see that that ship come back in. Cause see, I want to. I want the spikes. I definitely want the spikes. I want to see if that is not our ship that we're looking for. Let's uh, give a chance for this next wave to come in. And if we don't see it on that wave, we'll do a restart and see if we can get it to come back in. Because I don't know if that's just the interface not showing it or if, uh, oh, oh, look at that. Wait, do I already have droid wings? I think I already have droid wings on this save. I've got droid C wings, but I don't have regular droid wings. All right. So 
Okay, we're going to grab those droid wings because why the hell not? Droid wings are awesome and they're not easy to find. That is such a weird color. That is such an odd set of colors. But it works. Some people like that. Those olive accents. All right, here we are. Extract that module. Salvage those wings. Let's make a save point. And let's just go ahead and restore. Why the heck not? All right. Do 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 the points are just so much better, in my opinion. I don't know if you hold the same opinion, or you can't stand explorers. Uh, but man, I... Oops, wrong console. This is the one. All right, let me take a look at just that wing again. Let's see. Hard to tell in this view. I wish we had a better look at this. But I'm thinking that this does not have the spikes. Which is a real bummer. But that's okay. We can just hop on to the next system and uh, see what we can see. All right, that wave did not did not yield any results, so we'll just do a restore. Uh, keep a keep this moving a little bit. Sometimes waiting for all of the different sets of ships can be tedious. So why not uh, why not just speed things up a little bit? Although. Thinking about it, it might not actually speed things up doing a, a restore because you still have to wait a little bit through the reload screen. And uh, I don't know, might, might might not be too far away. Yeah, if I could correct one thing so far, one big thing, it would be how this operates back here. You sh we should be able to see more than just a lateral view. Like it just spins around in circles. You can't go up and down in order to see how it looks from different angles. It's a, you get kind of a kneecap eye view of how the ship is going to look. And that's just not helpful. Like I can't imagine trying to mess with a hauler doing that. That would be a big pain in the butt. All right, let's, here we go. We got some ships coming in. Is this our, no, it is not. I mean, it's cool if you like box haulers. Way back when, when I first started playing, I thought they were pretty cool. But now I just feel like they're unwieldy and I'm not a big fan of how slow the haulers fly. My brain likes to zip through everything, so I prefer fighters. Even the uh, 
the new Starborn is pretty sweet. I've got that up to really high man maneuverability on a different save file than this one. Yeah, <laughs> minus 12 on those haulers. It sure feels like it. It's like trying to fly through butter. Get some molasses on the wings. They fly about as fast as the Nautilon swims. All right, come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. That does not have the spikes. Today I learned that those actually do come in two different styles. I've never caught that before, and I don't know how I've never caught that before. But since we definitely want these spikes, we're going to take flight. Yay, knowledge. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Affluent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gek. No, that's got haulers. This is a fun system. Might have to spend a little time showing this one off because there's a lot of great fauna on these planets. Uh, so that's why I, I named it the Fauna Adoption Agency. Uh, there's so many cool creatures here. In fact, why not just uh, dip in real quick like and uh, I can show you what the planets look like. <laughs> As a real life adoptee, I thank you, sir. LOL. All right. So what we've got here. We've got these six planets or five planets and a moon. And I, I feel like, I feel like some of these were named differently. I don't know, it's been a while. Let's, uh, hot and spicy. Let's see what land creatures got a, a fun, I call this one a snoozle, the long nose deer looking things. I call those snoozles. Um, I don't know. It just seems to fit. I love it. All right, we got this uh, cat, trippy, trippy looking cat. There's another deer. Got this six-legged cow with the little chicken feet on the back. Ah, oh, but here we go. Check out the little Mogara. Or as some people call them, proto Gix. Check it out with the little shoulder spikes. What else do we have? Got the little land crab. And uh, we got the hippo with the stub tail. The sweet little spikes. Found a small two planetary object system. One was bright orange, one a bright green. I went with burning hot Cheetos and acid reflex for the names. <laughs> oh, that is great culinary zest. I've got a system uh, that it, it has a humid planet. It's like a lush world, but it rains a lot. It has a lot of superheated rainstorms. And, uh, and so that one is, uh, I forget what, what I called that planet, 
but I called the system Sticky Icky because that planet is sticky and the other one is a corrosive planet and that one is pretty icky. So <laughs> how's that for naming? I will definitely be looking for odd food names. I've got lots of stoner names. All right, let's check out. Okay, this one. Uh, can't really see it. What kind of planet is that? Frenzied, forfeited, fauna displaced, redacted, but it has one fauna. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, we got a bone cat whose coloration is not <laughs> loading in properly. We've got a fun deer with little neon green spikes. Got this little shovel-headed cat, or I don't know what you would call that. What is that shape? No, it looks like an anvil. That's it, an anvil head. Got a cow, bird, bird. That's it for that one. Let's see what grass has. Ah, oh, look at this freaky, freaky, freaky fly headed deer, cow, something or other. Triangle boy. <laughs> oh, we got a shark cat. Wild coloration, cool shark fins, little yellow green horns. Okay, that's a bird. That's a bird. Oh, look at that. Talk about freaky cow. Look at that tiny little head. Look at that tiny little head. How does it eat enough? How does it eat enough to maintain that body weight? Like, it can't do anything but eat, it would seem. Maybe, or maybe it just found, like, a natural steroid in the environment. Uh, maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. Oh, there we go. Got another little anvil head or a triangle boy. <laughs> Sorcery, even. Yes, culinary zest. All right. Peachy. Let's see what's just peachy over here. Oh yeah, I love these. Huge. No, not too bad. Not not too huge. Got four meters on that one. Interesting coloration. Little bone blades on its head. Kind of, kind of looks skinny like a blade almost. Tricera bone. We got another six legged funky cow with the little winglets on its head. Dust mite on steroids. <laughs> exactly. The this is this is just weird as fuck. The the chicken legs on the back end just come on, Sean, what were you thinking with that? What an abomination. This is trippy, one of the little tortoise shell kind of uh, mole creature. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely furries for sure. Oh, check this one out. Little armor plated cat with horns, little billy goat horns. I've got one similar to this. I think it might be on this save aisle. I'll have to I'll have to uh, pull it out later. Oh yeah, yeah. Point seven meter, little tiny, little tiny dude Strider. Got another bone cat, the little teal crystals up there, and another Strider, sort of a purplish and brownish kind of color. Or like an olivey green brown kind of color. Pretty nifty with that big shovel scoop of a jaw. Never could find 
remembering that I never could find that last one, this last ground one. All right. And let's see, last planet. Oh, one of those. Look at those freaky beady eyes. But pretty cool overall with the green fur. And we got a little T-Rex with tail feathers and back spikes and fins. What else? More birds. Got another, ooh, like a little anteater head almost. It's got a furry armored back. Yeah, it would. Like, if these really existed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, check this out. It's got one of those weird little heads. Another cow. So, with all of these different creatures, you can see why I called this the uh, um, Fauna Adoption Agency. <laughs> that one would make a nice wallet. <laughs> Right after culinary zest line, we're human. They'll be extinct in no time. <laughs> this is all making sense. Indeed. All right. Let's uh, find us another. Oh, that's black market. Okay, we were already there. So let's see. That's Viking. Unpromising. No. No. All right, you know what? We're just going to go to a new system in this area. Let's just find us a... We want a, uh, a more wealthy system because the, uh, the ship waves come in faster and there's more ships per wave. Uh, so we definitely want to stick to more wealthy systems. And we're looking for a Corvax or a Viking. And let's see what we can find. Viking comfortable, Corvax sustainable, skipping the black markets because those did not change. And it's just easier to see in the newer space stations for the most part. Not all the new space stations uh, have good viewing ability. Adequate. Kick. Viking, adequate. So we might just go with one of the two tier systems just because there's so many right here. Promising Corvax, let's hit it. Let's uh, see if we can get us the right barrel parts. All right. First view, first contact. I've seen this shape so many times. Cool color, though. Let's get some coordinates up there. Snapshot. Let's hop in. 
just kind of oh not bad sort of a gray and that dark red oh that's kind of cool actually a little understated cream colored light glowing in the background hopefully we can find us the part that we're looking for take a snapshot over here There we go, get that in there. This one's kind of nice, a little more subdued, not too dark. You can see the ship pretty well. I still need to improve the lighting. Like I really do, like I've said before, missed, miss the spotlights right over the ships. It's just a lot harder to see what you're trying to look at. Check the multi-tool cabinets, got a C-class pistol with a little horn on it. What do you think, B? Oh, S-class. Take a look. We got us an S-class. Snap a shot of that. All right. Oh, sweet. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. That is a nice find just out of the box. Take a look at that. Let's get some glyphs on there. That is so nice. At least the overhead lights are on in this one. Oh man, a little stubby. Box thruster. Oh yeah, let's see what we got here. What do I have? I do, I could use stubby parts. I. Let's see, what do I have the other wing? Okay, there we go, radiant wings is what they're calling them now all right so i do want to snag this ship because i do want that cockpit there we go into the grinder with you those are fun little ends on that Explorer right there. Zip through here. Let's see how fast we can get through this without messing up. What are we doing? We want the cockpit. Cockpit confirmed. I uh, didn't even check those slots. Wasn't even paying attention to that part. Oh, nice. I'm guessing the other one. Ooh, I wonder if the other one is right in here. That's pretty nice. All right. This is our prime ship, so it keeps bringing this one back. Let's wait for this next wave to come in and we might go ahead and do a restore. Those wings right there, I I just am not a fan of those wings. Just not a fan of those wings. It just it reminds me of a referee like sticking his arms up, blowing the whistle, saying a uh, field goal. <laughs> I just cannot take those wings seriously. Not my cup of tea. All right, we're going to go ahead and restore. Get 
myself a little bit of water here. Talking this much makes your mouth dry. All right. It's also nice to, um, when you are hunting for ships to scrap, it is good to have your prime ship, the one that's in the number one spot. Because otherwise you end up with multiple ships in the space station at once and that can take up room and you want to leave all of that room for the procedurally generated system shapes to come in. All right, any minute now, you can come on in. Here we go. And I do miss the back rooms in the space stations. I, I kind of hope they bring those back in some way. If nothing else, the uh, Atlas Pass rooms. But they should really have more interesting things than than what you find normally in the back rooms usually by the time you get an atlas pass in the game what you find back there is pretty irrelevant to what you're trying to accomplish unless you're really trying to go after those uh, remembrance uh, what do you, consoles that you interact with. We do happen to need these wings, which is great because I did not expect these wings to be here. So we're going to snag that real quick. All right, let's go scrap this. We need that to replace the hot rod ship also on this save. There we go. We got those wings. Just wait and see what else we might be able to see. But actually, we do have the parts to remake the hot rod ship. So maybe we'll just go and do that. The birth of destiny. And like I was saying before, this was the first ship I ever tracked down on the no uh, on the coordinate exchange. We've clocked many, many, many light years together, but I always wanted more red. And I always wanted the box thruster. So let's take a look and see what we see about putting that together. Move over to the fighter. Let's get those wings. Star Dancer wings. All right. Off to a good start. Got thruster. I'm going to try the box thruster on that. See what we're looking at. Don't forget the reactor core. And let's go for the hot rod cockpit. Oh, we got three different color layers. Always metallic. 
Let's see what it gave us right there. And again, like look at this. You can't you can't properly see what you're getting here because of the camera view. All right, let's do primary color in red metallic. Oh yeah. I'm liking that. That's an interesting blue. Let's take a look at the other blue. Let's take a look at turquoise. Let's take a look at purple. Oh. Oh, hey, Delta One. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us today. We are doing some custom build uh, shipbuilding. Had to track down a few parts. But I'm currently trying to remake one of my early, early ships. Uh, th this ship I've had for, well, just shortly after Origins um, happened. Tracked down this ship on the coordinate exchange. It was in Hilbert. But I always wanted it to look a little bit different. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. So I'm liking the red metallic. I wish I could see it better. We really need to be able to get a better camera angle on this. I hope that comes out in the next patch. And um, let's see. I like the dark red better with the red metallic. Let's see what accent color we could get, get after here. Hey, and Christy's back. Are you still driving? All right. Uh, it's yellow, dark pink, dark purple. Let's see. Hmm. Dark blue, teal, no, no Christmas colors. That kind of golden yellow is not bad. Orange, not a big fan of red and orange together. Not a, not a fan of mustard and ketchup either this is oh this i cannot believe the prevalence of mustard and ketchup ships in no man's sky it just blows my mind to me that's like the most hideous of possible color combinations all right i think we might just go for blistering red all the way around Make sure we've got metallic listed there. We've got the dark red all the way around. Soaring Azunomi. All right. Let's assemble it. Oh, look at that. Look at that shimmer. Look at that shimmer. Oh, that dark crimson. I've wanted ships like this from for as long as I can remember. Just so cool. All right, I think we have ourselves a winner here. Let's uh Take it out for a spin. Get a couple of shots. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Let's get a little bit different light. Okay, I know we need the need to get the sun in the right angle.
There we go. That's a little bit better. Ah, take a look. Look at that shine. Uh, kind of looking orangey right there for some reason. There we go. That's the angle. That's the angle that we need. On that black background. Zoom in there a little bit more. Oh, hot tamales. <laughs> get them while they're hot. Get them while they're tamales. Look at that. Now that I am pretty dang happy with. Let's see. Hopefully we can land it next to the other one and get kind of a side by side. That would be that would be nice. Nope. We did not get that. Oh, it cleared it out. Oh, how funny. It cleared out my other ship that was in here. That is hilarious. All right, so now we're going to go down to a planet. Let's go check out a planet. What do we have here? Blighted planet. Let's see what else we can find. Do, 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 do. Can't unhear what name? Christy. Parched moon. Grassy planet. Let's uh, take a look at the grassy planet. Hopefully it doesn't have too many distortions on it. <laughs> Did I actually say it like that? That's freaking hilarious, Christy. <laughs> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Just look at it. Uh, this might have a bit of a color distortion, but we'll see once we get down here. Need to find an airless planet. Oh, uh, yeah, this is not conducive. But since we're here, let's do a restore. <laughs> that that's that's fair enough I probably did say something almost exactly like that it would not surprise me in the least all right I'm gonna go oh kind of looks nice at night I'm gonna go back and see what that uh S-Class Space Station has for us, but first, let's see what other planets that we have in the system. Ooh, Obsidian Bead. Obsidian Bead. All right, let's, uh, no. Oh gosh, go away. I don't. How do I. How am I attracting that? I don't have. I don't have an egg. Why is it following me? <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Krusty. That's hilarious, Delta. 
All right, we're going to go back and check out that S-Class cabinet to see, uh, since we reloaded on the planet, we're going to see what else might be popping up in that cabinet. If there's something interesting, we'll uh, add it to the picks that we've taken. Okay. All right, just a regular old run of the rifle. Let's check out the obsidian bead planet real quick. See if that's a better place to load in on. There we go. Oh, we've got, okay, we've got a full accompaniment of planets and moons. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about either. Gotta, gotta let us know there, Christy, because I don't know it. Oh, okay. All right. Not bad. Cool volcanic dark orange. Look at the dark orange. That's pretty sweet. Okay, not the best place to get a good color read. So we're going to go ahead and restore and then run up to the space station again just to check out that multi-tool be great to see if we got like a cool alien or even a fun experimental that'd be nice hey enra welcome in thanks for joining here you gotta check out this uh you gotta check out this ship that i just made and run let's uh get some sun we've got metallic red and then dark red everything just take a look at that and it's got just some like light orange and purple decal Nothing, nothing too outrageous for the decal color. A little bit of tiny bit of green right there. But look at that ship. Just built it a little bit ago to replace a very similar ship. And now we're heading back because uh, we're checking out multi tools. And uh, we're going to see what multi-tool we've got going on this time and maybe reload on a couple of the other planets because we've got four planets, two moons. So there should be, uh, should be able to find some kind of fun multi-tool, hopefully something unique that we haven't seen before. It would have been great if the second, if the second um, multi-tool cabinet had all like Atlantids or something. That would have been fun. All right, not exciting. We are off again to try another planet.
Let's see, what are we, where are we at? We went there. Ah, there we go. Onward. Excelsior. All right, viridescent. Sometimes viridescent planets are amazing. Uh, especially when they have a cool color shift component to them. This one's got water. Is that going to be... Okay, okay. It looks like a red grass. Maybe blue water. And uh, maybe we'll get some bioluminescent grass. We shall see. Come on. Almost there. Let's just jump into it. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, nice. All right. We've got the little Trufula disco trees. We got the deep pits with water. So we are not looking at bioluminescent grass because I have never seen bioluminescent grass with the disco trees. got a little bit of a visual just a little bit of chromatic distortion making the making the raw metallic look kind of greenish <laughs> all right you one of you has to explain that what did you just watch, Delta? And I hit the re restore. <laughs> All right, you're going to have to drop a link in Discord or something. <laughs> This is a cool planet, though. Don't often see red grass with those uh, with those trees. It's pretty nice, and it doesn't have the spiky ones. It just has the the protea wheel type. All right, head back to the space station because I am like. Oh, in, insufficient fuel. All right, let's hit it. Now I like I've got to check all of the all of the planets at this point because I I got to see if there's a good multi-tool. It's probably going to be the last one we check. <laughs> But hey, it'll be a fun journey. Yeah, it, it often is the last one, Delta. It is ridiculous that way sometimes. Okay, that's the obsidian bead. That's... What was that one? Blighted. All these antennas. <laughs> See? The way I fly sometimes is going to knock all those antennas out.
All right. <laughs> Where we go? Eh. Nope. Not even going to look at that one. Alright. Which way do we go now? Here we go. Oh no, I was hoping to just skate out of the atmosphere. No such luck. There we go. All right. What do we have here? Oh, all right. Cable planet. Cable pods. This might actually be a decent system. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. First, we're going to go ahead and do a restore. And then uh, we're going to move that ship over a little bit. <laughs> Gladly sacrificed a few brain cells, culinary zest. <laughs> All right, I'm even more curious now. All right, so we're going to move that eerie music. Eerie music is eerie. All right, let's drop that one right. Yeah, come on, cooperate. And then we're going to drop this one Let's see if we can get it close without Let's just see if it looks nope nope that's not yeah let's do come on there we go that's that's close enough. Oh, no. Freaking Sentinels. All right, let's do some overhead. There we go. So we've recreated this ship the way I always wanted it. Box thruster, metallic red, just red everything, dark red everything. Look at that. I'd call that a success. Hey, Tosk, welcome in. Thanks for joining us today. We are running around creating some new ships, trying to replace a couple of my old ships in the way that I always wanted them to be. Let me just take a shot here. The ship on the left is one that I got. Oh man, I, I got that one. It had to have been, it was right after Origins, the first ship I ever chased down. It was in Hilbert from the Coordinate Exchange, but I always wanted the box thruster and I just wanted everything red. And now here we have it. Finally, finally, after all these years, got to recreate it. And I could not be more thrilled. 
Now the next thing is going to be painstakingly switching out over switching over all of the tech and expanding all of the slots and getting it brought up to speed. That's going to be uh, uh, not too much trouble, as it were. I've got them all in that ship. It shouldn't be too difficult to just transfer them over. But, oh man, I could not be happier. But let's uh, hop back in. Oh, you know what? I'm going to hop out of here since this one is fully loaded with the engines and everything. Let's just take that one back to the space station. And uh, let's uh, take a look at that multi-tool cabinet one more time. And I think we actually have, okay, we have two more to go. We've got the other moon and that big planet that we need to restart on. This will be our, I don't know, fourth go, five, fifth go. Reloading at the space station and then reloading on all of the planets. All right. Uh, it's right over okay not uh, not too exciting I mean it's not bad it's not it's not my favorite and they all all of the different ones so far have had the same slots in that cabinet all right let's just go straight for the planet ahead of us Let's do a restart here. Oh man, I love the caustic planets with the giant perfume flowers. Love these. Got a couple of bases with them. Wait, what am I hearing? Was that scratchy sound? the hell is that sound? Seems like it should be right next to us, but uh, not seeing anything. Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. All right. All right, those things are demonstrating how not to be seen. Oops, I did not mean to drop that pin. Oh, nope, did not mean to scan that. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. There we go. What do we got? Oh, look at that butterfly. Wow. Oh, that one's cool. That blue and pink. Nice. Use a thumper. <laughs> That's a great idea, Tosk. All right. Let's see. Did I restart? No, I did not. Okay, let's, let's do a reload. Okay. Come on. Hurry up. All right. Back to the station.
Um, come on. Steady. Come on, let's go. Get away. <laughs> I don't know why that living ship is coming after me. I do not have a void egg on me. It's so obnoxious. All right. Come on, no whammies. Ah, rifle. I, is there a void egg in my freighter? There might be one in one of the storage units, but not here. All right, we have one more moon to reload on before we call this a bust on finding any kind of interesting multi-tools in that S class cabinet. Wait, okay, we already went to there. Let's uh, switch the view. If I can remember what button that does, does that. Okay. Just around the bend, maybe. Oh, I think that's it. Could be the, let's see, is that the moon? Okay, that's the last one. Parched moon. Parched, it needs water. The funny ones are the, the parched planets. It says parched, but it clearly has water on it. It is definitely a wet ass planet. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does sometimes trip that mission. Tiedlin Nidlos. All right, let's do a restore. Ooh, those sounds were cool. <laughs> oh, man, I miss a good baked brie, their culinary zest. Oh, man. Cannot have the cheese any longer, unfortunately. Incoming storm. What have we here? It's just, oh, I love those. It sounds like T-Rex. Let's see what we can see. Okay, cool, nice cacti. Very cool. As, you know, planets with uh, cacti go. Oh, I love the sounds though. So freaky. Oh, we got, what do we got here? What is that? A 3.3 .3 meter strider. What are you? Okay. Little uh, two-legged kangaroo looking thing. Okay, that's really far away. Oh. A flying Megara. I 
Oh, take a look at that. A little dragonfly wings. Trippy, trippy, trippy. Oh, hot red pepper jelly. Oh, man. Used to do a, br a baked brie with uh, cranberry and orange reduction. That always turned out amazing. All right, what, uh, I need to look at my, okay, I've got space. I've got one space left. All right, I'm going to have to I'll grab a little bit of uh, facium. All right, where did that Mogara go? Kind of hard to see in this storm. All right, let's take a look. See if I can see it. Apologies if I'm making you dizzy. Okay, where did it go? It is so difficult to see on this planet at night during a storm. Come on, man. All right. Okay, storm is over. Let's look for the flight pattern. Okay, that's the Strider. Strider. Wall to wall freaking Striders. There we go. Let's have a look at you. Oh my God, look how huge it is. Six meters. <laughs> okay, that's not the same one in the discovery tab. Shine a light on you. Whoa. That one's pretty cool, but I think I like the other one better. I'll see if I can find the other one. Probably closer back to the ship, maybe. Let's take a look here. Okay, there's the ship. Oh, there we go. There's those flappy wings. Let's see if that's the one. Yes, that's the one that we're looking for. Good God, look at it. Look how huge it is. 6.1 meters. All right, get back here. You are officially adopted. All right, come on. Let's uh, give you treats. Pets. All right. I uh, cannot remember if I did a restore, so we're just going to go ahead and reload. And this will be our last attempt at that cabinet. Hopefully we'll find something interesting on that last planet reload. Uh, Tosk, I don't think so. No, the it... it Sometimes chooses the one that you scan. Sometimes it chooses the other one. It's been kind of oddly inconsistent. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been oddly inconsistent that way. All right. 
get some water here. <clears throat> All right, head back to the space station. Here we come back. I'm going to have to come back and explore all of the planets again and check out all the fauna and just get a better look because this has been the ADHD look of everything today. Stopping to look at a few things while we're busy doing other stuff. Okay, not what I was hoping for, but but not bad. Got the little pink and green going on. Not bad. Hoping for an alien, hoping for, you know, an experimental, but that one's kind of fun. That one's kind of fun. Worthwhile to take a picture and uh, make sure to snap a picture of this so I know where to find it. And I really, another thing that we really need that is long overdue is having the galaxy listed in here so we know where the fuck to find things. Instead of like, you know, finding something that you can't remember where it was or what galaxy and you can't set a waypoint to it like this. But, uh, anywho. All right, see ya, Shogun. Thank you once again for joining in. And uh, if you're still hanging around, and if you could, just hop over and throw a like. If you haven't subscribed, please give that a shot. If you like my content, we're going to uh, bring up our new ship that we just built. Is that it? There we go. Take a look at that sweet, sweet ride. Love how it turned out. So freaking happy about that. And uh, I think this is where we're gonna where we're gonna call it quits for the day. Thank you for joining me on No Man's Sky Adventure Time. I appreciate you dropping by. Links to um, links to my discord and links to the no man's high discord are in the description uh, come and join me next time i'll be once again next tuesday small chance i'll do a, a stream in between now and then just keep an eye out if you want to catch up with what i'm doing then probably some building i really want to get back into the building uh, but Thank you once again and uh, have a great day or night, whichever one you're experiencing right now. Bye, everyone. Thank you.